Torpedo is ready to launch. Go two to launch. There it goes. Torpedo is out. That one's heading. That's gonna be a direct hit. Want to keep up with the latest Komodo gaming videos? Be sure to subscribe and click that bell. Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys a, another episode of Stormworks Build and Rescue, and yes folks, it is Tuesday once again, so that means it's Sinking Tuesday. Now, I have a highly requested sink here today. We are actually going to be playing with a submarine here. This is the HMS Archer by GB Danny, and this one has a very, very unique feature. I mean, not only is it a sub that shoots torpedoes, it's got a, a feature called the Crush Depth, which if this thing gets below a certain depth in the water, it will actually start to, I guess, crush and leak. And, well, I don't think it actually crushes, but it's supposed to simulate that and it'll actually leak and sink. So not only are we doing that, we have a crew of four that's going to be with me. We've got a target to go hit. The oil tanker's 4.9 kilometers away. Uh, we're going to dive down, see if we can hit it with a couple torpedoes. The weather's going to be a bit rough. And we're just going to see what's going to happen. I, I like this because it's kind of exciting because I don't know exactly when this thing's going to actually sink. So it could happen here in five minutes. It might happen in ten minutes. It might never happen. Well, I'm pretty sure I'll assure that it's going to happen at least at some point. All right, crew, let's go ahead and get aboard. Now, it isn't a modern submarine. It's more like a uh, kind of like first generation uh, military sub. So it's probably not going to have a whole bunch of room here. I don't even know if I need four crew members. All right, everybody, let's get down in the hatch. Okay, yeah, just push me off to the side. That's completely fine. But yeah, if you guys have any more uh, requests or suggestions for Sinking Tuesday, any type of ship you want to see me uh, find and sink, let me know down in that comment section below. And maybe hit that thumbs up button while you're down there. Holy man, this looks like a death cage. Okay, so I'm going to try to get people loaded in here one by one real quick, and then we should be able to start up here. Uh, we're going to have to go into stealth mode, that way the tanker doesn't see us. And uh, we'll see if we can shoot it and sink it. I don't know if it'll actually sink. I don't think it will. But as long as we hit it, I'll be happy. Alright, let's go ahead and close that hatch real quick. We are almost ready to go. I'll get everybody on stations here in a moment. Uh, I want to get moving real quick. So, it's actually uh, fairly straightforward here. There's the ballast. Okay, so this, is this the actual helm? Or what's this over here? Okay, here's engines, ignition, there's a fuel valve on that side, and electric motors on this side. So that's the generator. All right, so let's go ahead and go ignition. Okay, so we're fired up there. So it says disengage diesel clutch before bringing electric motor online. Well, technically it's disengaged right now, so let's go electric motor up. That's going to be our generators are up. Okay, so we're good there. Fuel valve is open. Okay, fuel level's going down. All right, so we should be good to go here to engage the clutch here. And I'm pretty sure we're... Holy man, we're moving pretty fast. All right, that's actually uh, a lot faster than I pictured. All right, so we do have hot keys over here. We have diesel clutch up and down. There's an anchor. Uh, of course, the electrical motor is all the way up. Do we have a heater in here? That's a, uh, a good question. I'm going to go ahead and turn the clutch down a little bit here. That way we're not moving that fast. Okay, let's see if we got a heater or anything, because I'm pretty sure some of my people are cold. All right, oh, let's go ahead and move people around here. What do we have over here? This looks to be an autopilot. You turn the map on. That's a little uh, more modern, I would say. Which, by the way, are we heading towards anything like an island or something? Okay, we might want to turn. I don't want to strike the bottom here. Let's see, what are we, 4.3 kilometers out from our target? Okay, not bad. Do we have any sort of lights in here? I see a light. Uh, see if I can locate them. Interior lighting, exterior lights. There we go. All right, don't expect there to be too much light in here. Open air vent. Do we need that open? Wait, is that air vent? Is that for the engine? Hold on, let's go ahead and check real quick. Uh, what's the engine readings like? Okay, the air is a little down on it. So if I open this air vent while we're surfaced, does that give it a little extra boost? No, it doesn't change it, so it might just be there for show. I'm not really sure. All right, so diving equipment's here. There's an emergency override, so we have torpedo right here. I think one's loaded in the chamber right now, and then we'll have the other one. We have the option to load in. All right, so we have that. A pretty simple setup. You know, I want to create one of these. I don't know if I can build one of these or not. I'd like to. Oh, let's turn the periscope on. Okay, so it is up right now. All right, so that's your, uh, okay, that's the electronics there. We're good. 
Okay, I'm gonna swing back here. Just look at the engine setup. Okay. Uh, let's see. All this is on. Okay, we do have emergency battery. So, just in case something happens, we'll know how to do that. Man, it, when this thing decides to go down, it's gonna be quick. So, we're gonna have to be very, very vigilant here. Alright, so, how deep are we? See, this is the weird thing. Okay, that's the depth to crush. We're technically, what, three meters down? 65 meters is not that low, which you're talking about a, a submarine that's probably... No telling what year this would have been built in. I'm pretty sure the depth wouldn't be that uh, high in the first place. Okay, I think we are good to go ahead and start to fill the ballast here, so let's go fill ballast. How are his ballast tanks set up? Are they just in here? Man, this has me so tempted to attempt a sub-build. Let's see, red equals neutral buoyancy. Okay. Uh, not ready to dive yet. Wait, can we dive? Oh, let's go. I just want to go just right below the surface here. I kind of want to keep, like, periscope depth. Wait, did it shut off? Okay, I think we're good. So, eh, I'm thinking about right here. Okay, there we go. Uh, can I get that level? Oh, this thing is so level. Okay, hold on. Turn the fill ballast. Okay. Uh, let's turn on the whole depth here. Alright, are we moving? Or is it not getting air into the intake? Uh, so I'm assuming the electric motors might also be uh, to propel this thing while it's underwater. Obviously, the gas motor needs air, which its intakes are... I'm not really 100% sure where its intakes are. Uh, let's go ahead and fill this a little bit more. I think I found its intakes, so that's where it's getting air to the engine, I believe, right here on the sides. Okay. All right, so it might be a little hard for you guys to see, but we are completely submerged at the... Oh, we are dropping fast. Uh, right. let's go ahead and drain the ballast. I need to find that neutral buoyancy point. Okay. Uh, so I'm assuming I need to be closer to the red. What is this? Okay, depth. Uh-oh, we're near crush depth. Uh, okay. Wait, what was that sound? Why? Why did I hear a magnet? What just... What just released? Wait, why is there... Wait, uh, I'm so confused. Hold on. Oh, and I haven't already screwed this up, have I? Okay. Air vent. Uh, is that water? That's not getting in, is it? We're right at the depth. Hold on. Let's just blow the ballast real quick. Uh, ballast tanks? The drain is not... Wait, what? Uh, maybe I should have just set the depth. Um, hold on. Let's go ahead and ignition. Here, hold on. Turn the clutch off. Um, are we moving? Uh-oh. No, 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 okay, I've done something extremely wrong here. Uh-oh. This might be the quickest we've ever sank something. Okay, uh, wait, how do we get out? Okay, you know what? Mm, go underwater real quick. Sorry, folks, you guys are gonna die. Oh, we're gonna have to reset this. This is way too quick for sinking, uh, Tuesday. Uh... I think I need to set the depth the next time. Oh, no, 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 no. We're going towards the back. Okay. I've got diving stuff on. So, can I save the crew here? Man, the tank, it's not loot. Wow, this is filling so quick. All right. Uh, sorry, guys. Uh, okay. You know what? Uh, need to get to the hatch here. The hatch is letting in water, too, it looks like. Even though it's closed. Hold on. Turn that on. Uh-oh. Wait. The hatch didn't open. Wait. Wait, is it just slow? Oh, the electronics, did they fell on the hatch? Huh, push it open. Uh-oh. All right, oh, no, 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 we need to find another way out. Okay, emergency battery. Uh, hold on, turn that on. Oh, no, I'm swimming with dead bodies now. Okay, emergency batteries are on. Uh, okay, we've had a major failure. Hold on, can we get out the uh, torpedo door? This is a, a key door. Oh, no, there's a torpedo in the way. Hold on. We can't fire this out, can we? Uh, launch. Okay. I think we just launched it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Wait. Okay, can we push it out? Uh, is this going to hurt me? <laughs> Come on. Push the torpedo out. Push the... Come on. Is this... This isn't moving. Uh-oh. This is bad. Are you serious? Okay, launch. Did it... Did... Okay, what's it catching? Come on, move. Oh, I just... I almost just got killed by the torpedo. I did. Okay, no, I'm not dead. 
Uh, the torpedo just basically killed us. Are you serious? This is like a little coffin under the sea. Hold on. Come on, door. Hold on. Do we have electricity here? Uh, I can't open it. <laughs> I can't open this door at all. Well, we have uh, failed the first attempt. I don't even know the point of having a crew, to be honest with you. All right. Just run into this. Oh, I can't even die that way. Okay. Well, we got to end it here. Let's go ahead and store that. Well, that was a uh, very hopeless situation. All right, so I think next time, let's actually set a depth. That way, it's a little more stable for me. Oh, and I just died. All right, so here we are, take two. So that ended in complete disaster. Like, by the time, and we were just, I think, on the edge there of the crush depth. I don't know if it was that or the whole fact that I think I did skim, I think I skimmed the bottom, but I think I saw water being let in, and I'm assuming that's where we were springing leaks. All right, so we're ready to dive once again. That was operator error completely. Like, that was completely on me. So what we want to do, we want to fill the ballast, and we want to hit the, uh, the neutral buoyancy point, which is this red marker here. So let's let it do that first. Uh, wait for it. Okay... Uh, that is... That's almost on the money there. So, we've got that set. And we haven't dived yet. We're not ready for that. So, let's go ahead. Let's get rid of the clutch on the diesel here. There we go. Uh, let me go ahead and get the next step. Okay, electric motors are engaged. There we go. Alright, so we should have power underwater. I can set a depth, which it should be positive. So, I'm assuming positive would be, like, say if we were to set, I don't know, 20... Would that be 20 meters down? Let's go ahead and set that up. All right, and can we dive here? There we go. So we're not flooding that diesel motor anymore. We are using just the electric one now. All right, oh, this feels so much better. All right, let me go ahead and we're gonna turn this way. I just wanted to see how that worked real quick. I might resurface here, depending on how many knots are we running right now. 13. I think it runs 22 on the surface, so I'm probably going to surface it again. I just want to see how that works. Let's go ahead and drain the ballast. Okay, let's confirm it is draining, and we'll surface here. Should be good to go to down the clutch on the electric motor there, and we should be able to engage once again the diesel motor. We'll probably have to crank it back up. There we go. So the diesel motor is your uh, generator, too, so that's what's going to charge that electric motor back up. Uh, yeah, I gotta figure out how to transfer that. Alright, let's get out to the tanker. Alright, tanker is in sight. Let's go ahead. We're gonna kill the diesel motors real quick. Okay. Alright, so it's about 500, almost 600 meters away. So what we're gonna do here, let's go ahead and get our periscope out. We wanna get it periscope depth, so that's gonna fold out. I know it's really hard to see out of those monitors, but uh, we're gonna have to deal with it. All right, so let's go ahead and start to uh, fill the tanks again. Oh, boy. I'm ready to at least try to get maybe one, potentially two of the torpedoes launched out. I have to see how this loading system works. Okay, pretty close to where we need to be. It's going to go depth hold on. All right, so it's more like a question of... Hold on, let's go ahead and go electric motors real quick. Uh, how low do we need to be? Okay, so there goes the... Okay, so we're diving here. So what is 20? Is 20 too low for periscope? Might be. Hold on, turn that off real quick. Uh... Okay, let's go back up. I'm trying to figure out what periscope... Uh, let's maybe try 5 as a depth here. So let's go 5 and set... All right, starting to level itself off. So that seems even to be too deep there. Let's go to uh, to reset. Oh, and we're surfaced. Okay, we might want to stop moving here. Uh, I think we're, I would say, in range to go ahead and fire here. Uh, let's check. Okay, I can see tanker. It's that little black dot right there. Uh, oh, boy. Okay, so one is loaded in the tube. Yeah, we're a little above periscope depth, but you know what? It's no longer a stealth mission. Let's go ahead and go... Launch is going to be two, three, two, one, launch. Uh-oh. Do we have a misfire? Oh, you know what? 
Might want to hit that outer door. That probably is a good idea. Oh, boy. Let's go outer door. Okay, so it folds and launch. No, no, no. I think we're going to have... I think we had a misfire there. Uh, I should have probably hit the outer door before I hit the inner... Oh, there it goes. Okay, no, it still launches. Holy man, that's actually pretty straight. Oh, and is it going to dive up to the surface or is it going to stay down? Uh, it's going to be just left side of the tanker. That's going to be a negative on the hit there. All right, you know what? Let's go ahead before we... Oh, and we should probably close that outer door. Okay, inner door is going to open. Three, two, one. Tube levels draining. Actually, let's let it drain real quick before we load in the next one. All right, door is open. Let's go ahead and load in second torpedo. Torpedo locks are... Uh-oh. Okay, so do I grab this? Is there a handle? Oh, you just slide it. Oh, that is so efficient. Hold on. Get in there. Get get in there. Uh, come on. Uh, I need you to load. Okay, so torpedoes loaded. All right, we're going to go with second shot. Let's go ahead and go inner door. Close. Outer door should be opening. Okay, tubes are filling up real quick. All right. Oh, we need to turn a bit. Hold on. Let's go ahead. Uh, we can go back to our diesel motors real quick there we go throttle do a little bit of clutch here i just want to get it to where i can turn it okay we are turning uh that's that's pretty direct uh barring that it gets turned by the uh the waves hold on let's go into here torpedo is ready to launch go two to launch there it goes torpedo is out that one's heading that's gonna be a direct hit wait it went underwater did it hit it not sure if we have a confirmed hit or not. I'd have to get in really close. I can't get in uh, any closer than it's let me here. Okay, we should probably uh, maybe get out of the area because I'm pretty sure we ticked everything off. All right, let's get moving here. Uh, let's go ahead. We're going to dump the clutch, and we're going to go down and die. All right, let's go clutch, and boom. Uh, we're going to pass by. See if we see a scrape mark or something. Uh, did we hit you? Oh, it's going to start to fill the uh, ballast, too. There we go. I mean, if we hit it, we skimmed it. It might have went just under it. Uh, I do not see damage. I don't think that necessarily means it didn't hit it, but uh, there's a chance it didn't. <laughs> All right, let's get the heck out of here. So wait for it to hit the uh, neutral point. Okay, neutral point is hit. Okay, neutral's hit. Let's go ahead, set a depth. Uh, let's go 20 down for now. Actually, not 200 down. 200 down is probably the sea floor. Go boom, and there we go. All right, and let's go ahead and go electric motors. Probably better get those cranked up real quick. Okay, those are moving. Sweet. All right, we should be good to go. Holy man. Uh, oh, that's okay. That's fairly deep. I know it's kind of hard for you guys to see this. All right, we should be moving though. All right, so question is, what happened on the first sink? Was it the door? Did it fail? Like, it seemed like it was partially open. Hold on, I could see out of this, by the way. Check that out. That's actually pretty cool. Uh, okay, so I don't know what happened there. So how else would you escape? Maybe through the tubes, I would assume, right? Uh, let's see. Uh, let's keep going down here. We're still moving about seven knots at the moment. Let's go down 40. There we go. Oh, yeah, we are deep. I don't know. What is the depth for a diving suit? Is the depth... Is it 65? Maybe it is. Maybe that's why the crushing depth is the way it is. Oh, let's see. Okay. Let's go down further. Let's go. Let's go to the 50 mark here. Okay, 50 mark's going to be engaged. There we go. Oh, boy. That is scary. Okay, look around. So weird that I can still see lightning down here. All right, she's going to start to spring leaks here. I didn't even get to see how that was working earlier. I was just panicking. All right, so she's hit the crush depth. She's right on it right now. Okay. Oh, look at that. All right, so she starts to take on water up here. It's got to be something that's just triggered to make it do that. On, oh, We are actually filling up, though. Well, I don't see water on the bottom yet. This is so creepy. What's this over here? What are these readings? Oh, it's batteries. Okay, let's go to that. Let's see. What was that emergency? Is that a bilge pump? Emergency batteries. No. Is there a pump somewhere? Uh-oh. 
Uh oh, okay, the, that water starts hitting really fast. Wait, it's it's coming from the back. Oh, everything's leaking now. Okay, uh, prepare, let's go and get our dive suit on. So it's at full. Okay, what can we do here? Is that door, is it disabled yet? No, that hatch is good. Oh man, look at that. That would be probably the most scary feeling. I mean, I wouldn't want to be in one of these in the first place because something about being this far underwater, but yeah, if water's coming in, I'm getting the heck out of here. All right, just keep letting it fill here. We'll wait before we open those. So wait, this tube won't open unless it's drained. So technically you would need to close it or just override it with the emergency. Jesus is filling fast. Oh, that stinks. Okay. Yeah, uh, just stay calm. Okay, so as soon as I hit this, it's gonna flood. All right, let's make sure we can get out of here. Okay, hit the door. Yep, okay, there it goes. Oh no, it's dragging me back a little bit. Okay, come on, come on. Dude, you have to crawl out of the tube. Are you kidding me? Woo. All right, oh, it's got damage on the bottom too. Wait, so we're good down here. So the diving suits can handle this deep. What is the depth on these? Is it 80? Maybe a hundred? I don't know, look at that, the top sledding in water too. That hatch breaks. That's what it is, look at the hatch. It actually opens itself up partially. That stinks. That would be scary. Okay, let's just go to the surface. I mean, honestly, this one's pretty easy to survive. I guess the only way to make that uh, where it would be really dangerous is either don't have diving suits and make the person get out and try to just make it to the surface, or you could potentially set that crush, uh, I guess the crush depth a lot higher, which I don't know how high it'll let you set it. I'm assuming infinite. And then yeah, you can set it and go really deep. And yeah, that would be a lot harder. We made it folks. <laughs> that actually wasn't too bad at all. Oh boy, that's cool though. That's a, a extremely cool feature I like seeing on these subs. So yeah, if you uh, don't pay attention to how deep you are, you might actually sink. Or it might just end up like the first time. I don't know what the heck happened there when we died. But I was a lot more prepared for this one. I knew where to escape. Uh, definitely, you have to go out of the torpedo tubes. It's just really tricky to get those to launch. Because if that torpedo tube isn't cleared, uh, you're going to go ahead and be in a watery casket. <laughs> That's a cool creation. I strongly suggest you guys check that out. Uh, thank you guys for watching this episode of Sinking Tuesday, and we will see you guys next time.